It's the OCG Fam Show, and today we're talking about controlling your pH. Are you putting a Band-Aid on it or making real change? Let's get into it. Oh. Hey there, Bob from Morgan's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on? I can't recommend the orange cream soda. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show. To you, my YouTube buddies, what's going on? Let me know in the comments and we'll talk about it after the show. Um, pH levels. The, the, the show we did uh, a couple of viewer question shows ago, we were talking about pH levels. We've been talking about it a lot. I know, I know. But in this particular clip, I said, hey, Scott, when you're getting to the end of your run, uh, you're flushing out your plants, you may be not so concerned about nutrition. Is the pH still critical at that point. We talked a short little bit about that, but more importantly after that, we talked about pH in general and about how you control that in an emergency situation where you're trying to get something done and how you control it long term. And I thought it was an interesting clip, so I'd like you to watch it and uh, we can talk about it. So if I get to the end of the process and I'm starting to fade away at the end when I'm flushing, is the pH still important in the last couple of weeks? Well, Still, it's arguable. I mean, I think for folks who are really trying to fine tune terpene profiles, yeah, sweetness of flavor, smoothness of smoke, um, enhancement of colors, I think there's still a huge piece to it. Mm -hmm. But then again, at that point, Olympus up in carbonated water is going to get you that same effect without worrying so hard about my six one pH in my soil. Anyway. And and you're fortifying your soil at this point. Is it going to be available to it if you if you're late in the game too? You got to do this up front, right? I mean, that's that's where it comes from. It, it comes down. Ideally, yeah, it's all preventative, and it's called building soil structure. It's soil tilt. It's making this a medium where it's habitable till the end. It shouldn't need reamendment. I really with limestone reamending mid flower is not your best bet because it takes five to ten days for it to activate, become available. Triggering it, you can kind of speed it up with uh, the carbonated water. But I'm not a fan of the carbonated water to break down calcium in the soil because it's CO2, it's carbonic acid, it's not oxygen. It can literally suffocate things like mycorrhiza fields okay. or you know a lot of your trichodermas, your bacteria living in there need the oxygen to survive. If I'm watering carbonated water into my potting soil to correct these issues, then I'm choking out my life in my soil as well. So I'm not a big fan of like. When you pH it down, the carbonation's reacting with yeah. the, the feed. Uh -huh. By the time you're actually watering it in, the CO2 is gone and reacted, and it's already converted the carbonates to bicarbonates, so it's not so much of an issue. If your carbonates are too high in the soil or your pH is too high in yeah. the soil and you water in the CO2 water, it'll work. It'll help reduce the alkaline or the uh, pH. However, you are putting in no oxygen into that, that water system. So the, the carbonated water situation is for uh, an emergency, uh, an expedient, not a long-term solution. Yeah. Okay. Your feeding will do that. You do it for your feeds to, to get you to that end, and then the next run, you build it in because you know it's going to happen to you. Okay. No, not my thing. What do you think of that? Informative, helpful, entertaining? Let me know in the comments uh, if that brought up any questions, if there's other questions you're looking for to get answered so we can answer them in the next viewer questions episode. And if you wanted to hear more of that conversation we talked about, I'm going to put a link down below uh, to that timestamp in that longer viewer questions episode so you can watch that and what went after it or back up and what went before it. So that's the show for today. I love you. And I'll see you tomorrow. The OCG Fam Show, it's pretty good, it happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show, see you tomorrow.